Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Marissa and I create journaling and memory keeping videos hoping to inspire you to find little moments of joy through this practice. So today I'm so excited to share with you a junk journaling session inspired by one of the novels I read recently, Brida by Paolo Coelho. Join me as I decorate my junk journal pages and document some of my favorite quotes from the book. This is the junk journal I'm currently using. It's a traveler's notebook regular size. I opt for this size as I prefer to keep all my creative journals in one place within my Chic Sparrow traveler's notebook. Crafted from old magazine pages and various scrap papers, this junk journal has a unique blend of patterns and colors. As you can see, some of the pages are already filled using the different materials I incorporated into my journaling. To provide you with an insight how I use my junk journal, please check out the related video linked in the description box below. Now, let's proceed into the task at hand, documenting book quotes from Brida. For this purpose, I'll be selecting a spread from this junk journal. To give you some background, I don't journal sequentially in my junk journal, but I do put the dates for each entry. I prefer adding images, ephemera, and writing as I go along, choosing a page depending on my mood or whatever project I'm working on at the time. Having that flexibility allows me to follow my creative energy in the moment. I chose this spread because the trees and forest imagery on this magazine page instantly reminded me of the mystical journey that Brida embarks on in this novel. Now let's gather some supplies that we are going to use to decorate our page. This clear envelope contains various image clippings from old magazines. Represent Brida, the novel's main character, I've chosen an image of a woman with a pensive expression. Let's also incorporate this strip of paper featuring a quote about the transformative power of books. Additionally, we'll add this delicate bird and flower clipping along with a photo frame image adorned with a vibrant yellow flower. These elements will help capture the themes present in Paolo Coelho's work. To cover the existing text on this magazine page in my junk journal, I'll be using this sticky note with the grid pattern. 
Not only will this cover up the unwanted text, it would also provide more space for writing. Next, I'll be incorporating this paper featuring a book quote as a tip-in. The reverse side of the paper is blank, providing ample space for additional writing. To attach the tip-in, you can use washi tape or a clear tape like the one I have here. I'll be affixing the tape to one end of the paper and then attaching the paper to the middle section of her spread. Now let's begin decorating the left page by collaging elements at the top and bottom areas, framing the gridded sticky note in the center. At the top, we'll adhere the image of the woman which we've chosen to represent Brida herself. Her pensive expression perfectly captures the novel's introspective and spiritual themes. Beneath the grid writing space, we'll position the bird in the floral clipping. The natural imagery of the bird amidst vibrant blooms echoes the story celebration of nature's beauty and the journey of self-discovery. With the symbolic visuals, we create a cohesive and thematically resonant composition on this page. I'm taking my time here to carefully decorate the page, thoughtfully layering the different elements to create depth and visual interest. When collaging ephemera onto journal pages, it's essential to approach the process with patience and an eye for composition. One effective technique is to vary the positioning and overlap of the elements, avoiding a flat one-dimensional arrangement. For instance, I'll slightly offset the image of the woman allowing a portion of it to extend beyond the grid section, creating a sense of movement and dynamism. Similarly, 
I'll adhere the bird and flora clipping at a slight angle rather than positioning it parallel to the page edge. This subtle tilt adds a touch of whimsy and prevents the composition from appearing too rigid or structured. Now I'll be adding this photo frame with yellow flower on the right page. Next, I'll be adding the title of the book, Brida, next to the woman's image using these decorative alphabet stickers. I'm taking my time arranging the stickers in a way that harmonizes with the existing imagery and ephemera, creating a cohesive and engaging junk journal page. Now that our spread is beautifully decorated, let's move to the writing portion of the process. First, I'll add the current date using this handy roller date stamp, neatly imprinting it in the top corner. The small detail not only provides a time stamp for a creative journey but also adds a touch of vintage charm to the page. 
Next, I'll begin documenting the book quotes that have resonated with me using this vintage Sarasa clip pen. I'll write my most favorite quote from the novel on the sticky note. For the remaining codes, I'll continue on the tip in and the adjacent page, lightly writing each one. Using a different color of pen, I'll highlight words or phrases that I find particularly important or meaningful. This easy method helps highlight important parts of each code, making them stand out more. While writing down the codes, I noticed that the bottom portion of the page felt a bit too bare. So I wanted to make it more balanced and interesting by adding a cute deer rubber stamp and a strip of the same vintage floral washi tape I used on the left page. Sometimes I write down my thoughts about the quotes. These notes give more meaning to how the author's words affect me. It's like having a personal chat with the text, exploring its deeper meaning that relate to my own life. By writing down these quotes and my thoughts from Rita, I'm keeping the book's important ideas alive. It adds a personal touch to my junk journal spread, making it more about me. Each quote I carefully copy will bring back memories of the amazing story Paolo Coelho wrote and the lessons it taught me. And there we have it, a junctural spread inspired by Brida that captures the essence of magic, wisdom, and self-discovery. As we wrap up this creative journey, I'd love to hear from you. Do you keep a quotes journal? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always eager to discover new ways people capture inspiration. Until next time, happy journaling!